Hello everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you about how you can download Cisco Packet Tracer and create an account in the Cisco Packet Tracer website. Alright, so first you need to search Cisco Packet Tracer uh, in Google and it gives you a range of results. Alright, so you're going to click on the very first result which says www.netarchade.com. Alright, so I'm, uh, I'll click on that and it takes me to a, a new website alright so it says Cisco Packet Tracer at the top and uh, there's a button called view courses so you're going to click on that and it will redirect you to a new website which is known skills for all but if it doesn't uh, then uh, you can just click on this button right here or maybe this click uh, this link uh, right there alright so if you click on those then uh, it will uh, move you to a new web page alright so here uh, you can scroll down a bit and you'll see that there are th three different courses alright three different courses so all of these courses actually offer the uh, application Cisco Packet Tracer along with them so I'm going to click on the very first one getting started with Cisco Packet Tracer okay so when I click on that it uh, takes me to a new page and it says get started and I'm going to click on that now and it uh, gives me an option to select the language so I'm going to select English and yeah so continue and then it takes me to a brand new web page and it asks me to uh, log in alright so what I'll do, uh, let's say that I don't have any account in the Cisco Packet Tracer website. So in that case, I'll be uh, uh, I'll be clicking on this link right there. Sign up. Okay, uh, I'll click on that. Sign up, and then uh, it takes me uh, to a new page, and it asks me to select my country. So I'm going to select my country, and uh, I'll just put some dummy birth uh, dummy birth there and stuffs and everything alright so yeah so let's move on and it as asks me to put some first name last name email password etc etc and uh, there are some types of uh, password requirements so that means you can't just put anything you like you have to put a lowercase letter and uppercase letter and a number special character etc etc so make sure that uh, your password matches your password satisfies uh, all those criteria alright so I'm just going to fill up all those fields and then uh, I'll come back again alright so I filled up all those fields and now I'm going to click on create account alright so yeah then it takes me to a brand new page where uh, it is showing me some types of terms and conditions and everything so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just going to click on uh, I've read and agreed and I agree and etc etc and then accept and continue okay so once I click on that then it takes me uh, to somewhere uh, where it gives me the option to download Cisco Packet Tracer alright so here you can see that it, uh, it's showing me some type of uh, some type of instructions to download and install Cisco Packet Tracer. All right, so I'm going to click on that. Okay, so I'm going to click on that, install Cisco Packet Tracer, and then it uh, gives me some instructions how I can actually uh, download and install the Cisco Packet Tracer. All right, so there you can see an option. 1.0.3 I download Cisco Packet Tracer so there's a link and uh, I'm going to click on that link all right so here uh, if you just scroll down a bit then uh, you'll see there are three separate versions of this Cisco Packet Tracer so one is for Mac one is for Linux and the other one is for Windows so since since I'm using Windows operating system so I'm going to click on this one right. and it will give me an option to download the Cisco Packet Tracer so I'm just going to click on start download then uh, it will start downloading and I'll wait till it finishes and then I'll come back to the video again alright so I'm done downloading the software so now I'm going to install that in my PC so installation is pretty straightforward just like just like any other uh, regular software alright so yeah so I'm just going to click on install and then it will start installing so it will take about uh, 20 or 30 seconds at most to install this software 
so once it uh, it gets installed then I'll open this and I'll show you how you can actually log in using the account that I created a few minutes ago alright so well it's done so let's run the software okay so whenever uh, you start the application it will ask you uh, a question like this one would you like to run multi-user application multi-user when application starts so I usually click no so you can click uh, either of these or right. it's not a very significant option so I usually click no okay so as you can see uh, initially it gave me uh, an interface but I actually can't do anything on that interface alright I can't select anything on that interface because it is asking me to log in using any of these two options alright so one is Cisco Networking Academy and the other is Cisco Skills for All so if you remember uh, I actually created my account using Cisco Skills for All website alright just uh, try to rewind a few minutes ago and then uh, you'll see that I actually created my own account uh, using Cisco skills for all websites so I'm going to click on this green button right here and it will take me to a new page where it will give me uh, an option to insert my info and then I can actually start using the software so I'm going to put the email that I use that I used a few minutes ago and then I'm going to put my password there and now I'm going to click login you can uh, take this option uh, remember me so that it doesn't ask you to insert all of these next time you log in alright so for now uh, I will not click on that and I'll just click on login yeah uh, it gives me a message saying that you have successfully logged into Cisco Packet Tracer. You may close this tab. So I'm going to close this one, and now you can see the actual interface of Cisco Packet Tracer. And I can click on um, this interface. I can click on these options, these buttons, etc. Alright. So regarding the interface, there's a separate tutorial uh, in my channel uh, about the whole interface of Cisco Packet Tracer. So please look into that. But for this tutorial, I just wanted to show you how you can create an account in the Cisco. Uh, packet tracer website and how you can download and install it and then uh, actually uh, open the application so that you can use it alright and I think I have already completed showing of that alright so that's all for this video thank you everyone for watching best of luck